So, I originally got this idea actually from a different YouTuber, Mr. Dwayne. Um, it's literally going to show up as reverse. But this is channel. 36 subscribers. Um, from the looks of it, they... He, she, they appear to, um, do vlog type of stuff. And one story that, um, I was listening to the video of theirs, uh, they have an Ouija board story. Oh, just reading that title gave me memories. I never played with a Ouija, I will never play with a Ouija board. Never have, never will. You cannot convince me, you cannot pay me. To play with the Ouija board, okay? That's a no-no for me. Um, but I actually have a story. I've told the story multiple times to people, and I've actually told the story like within comments, uh, different videos through YouTube. So I figure, why not just tell it here? Um, I was very close friends with um, a girl growing up. We were best friends. Um, I was like 13 when this happened. Where I live, current house, so it's the same house. Um, the neighborhood is definitely the type of neighborhood back then anyway. You could take a walk at night. It was safe. It was considered safe. Um, we walk to the park. And, um, yeah, the park that's in my neighborhood. It's about a block or two away. So we walked. Um, it was definitely nighttime. And I had my iPod. iPods had come out, so iPods were all the thing. They were all the rage. Um, I had my little purple iPod. And um, I don't remember what kind of iPod. It wasn't a shuffle. It was the type that you could see the screen and, like, scroll through and pick your songs. Well, my iPod started freaking out. It started changing songs by itself. Okay, that's weird. And I pulled out my iPod and my friend and I were listening. And of course she complains, you know, stop doing that. That was a good song. And I held it flat on my hand to show, okay, I'm not doing it. That was interesting. Well, she looked up and at the park, she suddenly yelled at me, run. And she booked it. She left me, man. She did tell me to run first before she left me. She did tell me to run first. <laughs> but she totally left me. I didn't question it. I just began running after her because she yelled around. She started running. She, I didn't know why. So I just ran after her like the classic person. I am definitely the one that's going to be eaten. Definitely the one that's going to be... Whatever, because I'm wearing flip-flops. I'm not running that quick. I'm a big, chunky girl back then. I'm definitely the one that's going to be eaten by whatever it is. Well, we make it um, all the way to my street. We ran all that way to my street. My street is more well-lit. We felt a little safer. We weren't. During that run, I had looked back. Because I'm like, why are we running? Why are we doing this? And in the middle of the street, currently, I live in Tucson, Arizona, okay? So what possible animal would you expect to see out here? A coyote. Maybe a mountain lion. Javelina. Gila monster. Scorpion. You know, the... The way it moved... The shape, because all I could see was this shadow, this dark, 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 dark shape. And, um, glowing eyes, yellow eyes. So that made me run faster, obviously. When we did reach my street, we felt safer because of the lights, but we weren't. My pot starts freaking out again. And in pure horror movie fashion. You know, I hold on my iPod. We're looking at it and it's switching songs. 
The first song it landed on was Crawling by Linkin Park. Now, I had over 600 different songs, okay, on this thing that was on Shuffle. It was not organized in any way. I had over 600 songs, so the chances of it landing on these two different songs is... Anyway, so that was the first warning that we got that made us run. Well, this time when it was switching, we're both looking at it because at that point we had both connected the dots. What song does my iPod decide to stop to the second time? Watch the title of it. Run Away. Coincidentally by Linkin Park as well. So, of course, in a horror movie fashion, we're looking down and you slowly look slowly look up. We're looking at each other. We just slowly look behind us and it's right there. It's coming. We book it to my house. Um, I... I'm the one that makes it, I'm, I'm the one that makes it to the door first and I open it and I have her, you know, go in, get in. And as I'm getting in the house, and this is the one time that I have noticed the actual effect of this. My house is blessed. Um, and I'm thankful that my house is blessed. Because right outside the property line, I'm closing the door, but I take one last peek as I'm closing the door. It's standing on two, on two legs, so it's like bipedial, staring at me right outside the property line, staring. So, of course, I, I close the door. We go to my room, and we are both very spooked about that, obviously. Well, whether you believe or not in spiritual, supernatural forces, or psychics, or whatever, my friend it was psychic. She's always been able to, um, well, she's always been able to see him. Um, and so, that's so where we met, um, my best friend for a very long time. Um. I feel nervous because I really don't have any evidence. Um, obviously, it's literally just my word. But um, for years, and every once in a while, to this day, um, he made himself known. A spirit. Of course, I didn't believe my friend. I'm like, you are full of it. So then, of course, I'm dealing with supernatural stuff. Things are throwing. Things are moving. Um, whatever. And eventually, I start hearing them. Being able to hear, I start being more connected to it, and I'm able to hear it. I'm able to hear him. And I am trying so hard to ignore that right now. So hard. Stop. Anyway. Um. <coughs> it's just became my best friend. And throughout the years, uh, been through a lot. And throughout the years, I've been willing to research and actually like find who, um, and in all honesty, I would, like, be bringing up the papers and websites and show it to you as no evidence, if I felt obligated and wanted to pay money, because the research and stuff that I did for this was years ago, all right, I was able to kind of go through the internet and find records, now, you could definitely find records, but, of uh, Yep, you gotta pay. And I, I, I don't wanna pay. I really don't wanna pay. So, um... Ah! Anyway... Um... 
But he could be a drugster, as you saw. Life is pretty interesting. Life is pretty entertaining. He leaves. It, not that I'm an adult, he leaves most of the time. He does whatever the F he wants. Um, but he spent a lot of time growing up. I spent a lot of time together, especially when my uh, physical female friend moved away. Um, it was really helpful. Uh, his name is actually Nick. She's short for Nikolai. Um, it was a Russian soldier um died during world war one uh winter died of froze to death um but it's just kind of funny because i've just noticed that i've told the story multiple times and everyone in my life knows nick okay my mom knows him my fiance is actually met him it's kind of funny um really really funny so i am actually really excited for the life that we're all gonna have um, and if there's any, any, any questions I've commonly gotten about why, dude's bored, I guess, I don't know, the only thing I do know is that, um, he's gay, and has, and developed a fear of, well, even back then, where you lived and everything, it, even if you didn't have religion in the mix, it was still considered a really bad thing. It was considered like a crime. It was considered bad to be gay. And then it throw religion into the mix. It's just... He's scared. Ultimately, I think. So, honestly, I don't know why. He sticks around as long as he has, or why he leaves, or does what he does. I don't tell him what to do. It's been really useful as a kid. I got away with a lot as a kid because I got warning. I got away with a lot. Oh. Mom, Dad, if you're watching, I'm sorry. It's too late to punish me for whatever it is now. It was really useful as a kid. I actually never got in legal trouble. I actually never got in real, real, real trouble. It's really useful. But that is using my powers for evil. I am above that. I use my powers for good. It's been very useful for raising my child, for example. Because of my hearing and lack of hearing. When I died, um, I actually saw him too. For like a split second. When I died in 2015, I actually saw him too. Oh, um, yeah, my, the whole takeaway from this is please don't play with the Ouija boards, people, okay? I didn't even play with the Ouija board back then. I was just taking a walk, and I was literally chased by some sort of demonic boozy thing that I don't even know, don't care. I have not put the research into whatever it could have been. I don't care. I choose not to. It's happened, I accept the fact it's happened, I accept what has gone on in my life since then. So, I, I am happy with that. But, uh, yeah, there's my, uh, paranormal story. Thanks, Mr. Dwayne, for actually giving me the idea for this. But, yeah, um, if you like vlog type of stuff, um... Go ahead and follow him.